All right, so a lot of combat sports fans followed her success on the jiu-jitsu world, IBJJF champion, and now in mixed martial arts, really looks like she can make a dent in this division. Yes, she can, because she has developed. She has developed not only her striking, but her confidence, her ability to adjust, her ability to set traps and use tricks to get the fight to the ground. And once you're on the ground, I mean, she's as good as they come. This young lady is tremendous. And I'm always excited to watch her compete. And she really doesn't discriminate when it comes to her submission game, whether it's chokes, arm, or leg isolations. She can truly do it all. So here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexis Davis! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jermaine the Iron Lady, Diragami! Herb Dean is your referee, Ready. he's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. All right, pretty visuals in every direction as we return to the stomping grounds at the Etihad Arena here in beautiful Abu Dhabi. Mixed martial arts, of course, continuing to make its presence felt here in the United Arab Emirates. And we have got a banging show for you here tonight. Let us now get to the action. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. In the half guard. Davis is back in half goal, making all these shots count. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. It looks like she's got that arm triangle locked in. She's doing a great job of Oh, she got out. How good is that? All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Oh, huge connection power there. Massive shot, man. How she gonna try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Durandamy. All right, so she attempts another takedown here. Pretty good entry to get inside, but unable to finish the job. Not very confident in the finish, and you can see it in the hesitation from entry to finish, and that's why 
why she is getting defensive. Lands a strike there. Two minutes to go. Single collar tie. And now a little space between the two fighters. Back to the jab now. Takedown defense holds up. Nice short uppercut in the clinch by Duranami. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick. Takedown defense holds up. His lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Man, she is at her relentless best late in the round and gets another takedown for good measure. Big moment in the fight to secure a takedown late. Leaves the last impression in the judge's mind, but also makes her feel good that she finally got that takedown that she's been chasing this whole round. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, oh. Round two straight ahead. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Come All on. right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Working off the jab, it's good. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Well, she whips on the straight right hand. Nice loop for once. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Davis going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Three minutes now to go in round two. And she's doubling up on the jab there. Oh, I thought she was going to get tagged there. Instead, slips her head off the center line. Man, those boxing chops paying dividends for her tonight. I mean, the very last moment, she just makes a slight movement, and her opponent misses and finds herself in really bad position. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Davis going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. All right, so her calf now starting to show some real signs of bruising, DC. And that only works because her lead leg is her opponent's lead leg. It's the split stance. It's two conventional fighters, so that kick is available to her. Takedown defense is there. Big elbow. Oh, huge connection by her there, DC. The seminal blow of this fight thus far. Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook. And it has her opponent hurt bad. Under a minute to go. Well, pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned. But we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, it's back in the fight and can potentially win. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that you hurt her before. She's going to have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. 
Right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike in It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Well, I'm just not sure how many more strikes she can take to that swollen area as they attend to her. We'll get you some replays. Not many, J.A. She's in trouble. It's damaging, and every time another one lands on that type of swelling, it feels like a jolt of lightning through your face. She has got to move her head. She's got to be proactive in her defense so she's not taking too many shots. All right, so back to back. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, nice right hand. That ran the clean. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Davis is in half guard now. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, great submission defense as she gets out. Full side control now. Great job landing from the top position. Great job not only reversing the position, but getting to your dominant position. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble, scramble, get up. And right into side control. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, look out, that thing is tight. It's advancing, she's about to finish. Oh, great submission defense. Nicely done. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. In the clinch, Duranemies has got full mount now. Less than two minutes to go in round three. Oh, and there it is. So after an extended battle on the ground, she gets back to her feet. And the crowd is absolutely eating it up. She was not going to settle on her back. Even though it was very difficult, she finally works her way back up, and now she's got to let the hands go. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Oh, she ate another calf kick there. I'm not even sure she has the ability to check at this point. She doesn't even have the ability. She's lost. Right now, she has been thoroughly confused by how her opponent is landing this kick over and over again. Unbelievable. Oh, and right hand barely just there. 30 seconds to go here. Waning seconds here of round number three. And we're headed to the championship rounds. That wasn't a bad round. It's decent. Okay. You're not landing enough kicks. You're better than this, okay? You need to set up that set up your kicks. Give me some back. Ready to fight. Ready. Go we ahead. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Back to the feet. This beautiful kick lands.
Oh, she got inside and right to the single collar tie. Nice uppercut. Oh, there's the swing and there's the miss by Durandam. This could be it. Oh, with authority, the body. Under three minutes to go in round four. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Durandamy. Oh, Look that there. thigh is just a mess. Like, I don't even want to look at it anymore. We acknowledge her toughness, but it's going to be a losing effort tonight. It's going to be a losing effort. And it's going to be a finish out. At least I feel like it's going to be a finish. She has not shown an ability to check these kicks. So I don't expect anything to change. Oh, huge connection fire there. Massive shot land. How is she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Back to the feet now. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man, another strike gets through. This could be over soon. The right hand just misses. Oh, now she lands a shot to the leg. The issue with that kick has affected. Oh, she's officially wobbled now. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Davis is trying to get a triangle here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is back in. Attack it off, Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Oh. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it, the big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go, and then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. Right on the button. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Eats a jab there. That big leg kick. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Davis. Yep, that gets his feet. And now she has her back. Nice positional control here. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Durandam. She's really accurate landing these strikes from top position. Oh, big elbow. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Davis is right back to the full mount. Nice shots landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, 
she's got the arm triangle locked in tight. She's got it in deep now. Oh, she's out. All right, so the ladies make their way back to the feet. Nice job by her there. And the crowd is just lapping it up. Yeah, they're loving her willingness to fight to get back to her feet. She never accepted being on the bottom. So even though it was difficult, she got it done. And now she looks to get oh, she's oh, here. You oh, cannot God. sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Well, her damn steps in. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. So how about this result tonight? She told us in the fighter meeting, I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 46 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by TKO, Jermaine, the Iron Lady, Deragami. All right, so the Muay Thai stylist Jermaine Durandamy puts on a striking display tonight as she gets her hand raised once again inside the octagon. Really has an infectious way about her, and nice to see Jermaine share this moment now with her coaches. This win figures to propel her forward now, and in a big way, at 135 pounds.